Honel Alan Swanyana's health condition worsens. Suspected terrorists arrested over links to a deaf husband catches pregnant wife cheating in hospital. Hello, welcome to News by 256. For all your current news and updates in Uganda, kindly subscribe, like, and share. In our first story today, the Gerald Makindi West MP Alan Sawanyana was reportedly in a critical condition on Wednesday. Reports indicate that Sawanyana was transferred from Kigo Prison to Maxon Bay Hospital in Rosita Prison. According to sources, Kigo Prison doctors initially thought the MP ulcers. However, as his condition quickly worsened, they rushed him to Maxon Bay Hospital. According to Elias Rukwago, Swanyana's lawyer, he made a decision to visit Luzira Prison to see how his client was doing. The situation is very worrying. He looks to be in a lot of pain, especially chest pain. This suggests maybe his internal organs like the heart have complication. Lukwago said, he adds, his body is all swollen and he could hardly talk. Lukwago went on to say that MP had told them he had not yet undergone any test. He also claimed that Habat Kahelu, the officer in charge of Luzila Security Prison had assured them that he would speak with his superiors and they would work out a plan to transfer Swanyana to Mlogo for an accurate diagnosis. Sewanyana and his co-accused D. Mohamed Segirinya have been in prison for a year. The two are being accused of being masterminds behind the Inugreta massacre that claimed the lives of at least 26 residents between February and August last year. A joint Uganda security team has arrested a suspected suicide bomber terrorist over links to the Allied Democratic Force, ADF, a designated terrorist group which is the Islamic State in the Central Africa province, confirmed an affiliate in 2019. Patrick Nyango, the Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson, told journalists yesterday that a group of suspected suicide bombers have been under surveillance since November last year. He said, the suspects were tracked down to one of the rental houses in Inikigaga zone, Sarama Parish, Makinde Division in Kampala. The tracking of the suspects for the high-level briefing involving a joint force, chieftains of military intelligence operatives, crime intelligence officers, regular UPDF police and joint anti-terrorism task force elements for months. The first major breakthrough, according to a security source, was when police and army operatives burst the area of cells in Nikito, Village, Kirianila Parish, Gombe Sub-County in Nansana mm. Municipality. Police detectives crossed the investigation, said that one of the suspects in Nikito Village Taylor case, while on interrogation, told them how to separate incidents connected and led them to Makindye, where they have been assembling their bombing equipment. Police preliminary investigations indicates that suicide bomber suspects have assigned duties, blow up himself in a place targeting government officials who move with the convoys, security personnel, and places with high traffic jam. ADF is a Ugandan born rebel group that in the 1990s terrorized many Western Uganda border areas in Kasese, Bundibujo, Kawarore before starting a campaign of indiscriminate killings in Kampala by tossing grenade in many in the main crowded bars their signature brutality manifested in june 8 1998 when marauding rebel struck kechwamba technical institute in kabarori district burning dead eight students and abducting about 100. a pregnant mother stricken by malaria and confined in a hospital bed for five days was caught red-handed by her husband having sex with a 24-year-old man. The police in her park have probably seen it all, but this case that seems more imagined than real. Chartered an unterritory responsible authority scratched their heads over what charge to prefer against the suspect. Eventually, a charge of causing public nuisance was slapped on the 24-year-old who exiled out a living resting mate in a park town. The accused is said to have committed a fence at a park hospital when he accessed the female ward last week. Week. The suspect is luck ran out when the woman's husband went to check on her after she had spent five days at the hospital. The 24-year-old man was caught in the act. 
Mr. David Woods Ndaula, the Park District Police Commander, confirmed the incidents and said the police have commenced investigation into the matter. The husband has been identified as Mr. Alex Okuta, a resident of Abol, a village in Chegere, sub county in Park District. He confirmed that his sick wife cheated on him. That's all I had for you this afternoon. Stay tuned for more updates on this channel. Please kindly subscribe, like, share, and comment.